Hi there. Hi there. You just needed a little bit of attention. That's all right. Hello everyone. How are you doing today? I'm Michelle the introvert and here we are in my home again. And guess what? Today we are going to do the grand finale of my hamburger helper theme. Here it is here. This is the last part. I have done part one and part two. And if you're curious about those vlogs, I will put them to the end of this vlog where you can take a look at them if you're curious. But for now, this is my last part for today, part three, and this is Hamburger Helper Cheesy Shells. So that's what we're gonna work on today. And I've had this before and it is excellent, but uh, let's go through it with you guys and it'll be a lot of fun. Now what you're going to need is one pound of hamburger, two cups of hot water, and I have the kettle boiling. I'm going to pour them in those measuring cups there. And then you're going to need two cups of milk. Now, I usually choose a vegetable to go with the hamburger helper. So, the vegetable of choice for today, da 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 da, there's some peas in there. So, we're going to get those started. Turn the stove on. There we go. Away those go. It won't take long for those to cook. And I have the stove turned on as well for the hamburger helper. Same number, number seven. So we're going to be hearing that cook here very shortly. And on a day when things are so busy and hectic, and you just get home and it's getting close to supper time and you're not sure what to put on, this is actually quite ideal because it doesn't take long and it is very easy. It is very simple. And when you cook it with vegetables too, like what's in that pot there, um, it makes it extra nice too because you have the, the vitamins and nutrients coming from the vegetables. I want to get it to brown evenly. So I'm just and this with my fork. Yeah, you can see it's starting to brown right there. Did you guys want to take a look? There's just a little bit of grease in the frying pan. Can you see it okay? So once the hamburger is cooked through, I'm going to drain some of that grease out. Let's see how the peas are doing. I see some steam. And we'll keep an eye on those peas so that they don't spill over onto the burner. So we have to watch them close. And the hamburger is coming along very nicely. The peas are cooked, so I'm going to turn this off. I just drained the grease and I turned the stove down a bit. Let's see what's inside this box. <laughs> Take a look. So here's the packet. And then the pasta is inside. Can you guys see the pasta? There. There's some light on it so you can see the pasta a little bit better. The instructions are very easy, they're just right there. Very easy. 
So the next step that we need to take, and I'm just turning over this way, is we're going to be adding the water. There's the two cups of water there, and this sauce mix, and then we stir. Here we are stirring in the hamburger, the hot water, and the sauce mix. It looks really great so far. The next step is to pour the pasta that's in this box, put that in the frying pan, and also this milk goes in the frying pan as well. This is coming along really nice. And now that I have a bit of liquid in the hamburger, I'm just going to turn this back up again to seven. There. And we'll keep a close watch on it as the noodles, the pasta in there, start to cook. This is such a delicious meal, this hamburger helper. Every time Hamburger Helper comes on sale, I always buy a few boxes. And of course, I cook vegetables with it. And the peas look nice. I'm just going to put the cover back on just to keep things warm. It's turned off there. This type of meal, too, is very handy, especially if um, company comes over. And it's something nice and quick that you can cook up. Or at the last minute, if you're invited to uh, a potluck dinner, this is really nice too. This is coming along really nice now. You can really tell that it is thickening up, which is what you want. That's a very good sign. It means it's almost done. It smells really good. It smells really, really good. And it's got a nice cheesy sauce there. It is really, really thick now. So I'm going to turn the stove off. Supper's ready. You want to see what it looks like? Doesn't that look nice? I'm going to go grab a fork. I'll be right back. Here it is again, and I'm going to taste test it just for you and for those who haven't had this before. It's very, very good. Very good. Very good. It 
it's very good. Very, very good. I re recommend this for sure. It is such a good meal. So that's the hamburger helper cheesy shells. It's very good. And so I want to say thank you for joining me. I want to thank you for coming along with me on my adventures, my cooking adventures, and the many other adventures that I have. And if you're interested in watching part one and part two of my hamburger helper theme, I will just put links here at the end of this vlog. And this is the grand finale. This is part three. And it was fun to do all of these hamburger helper themes with you. So you guys, I think I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna finish up this meal here. And if you like this vlog, please give me the YouTube thumbs up or press the subscribe button. That would be great. And you guys, you guys, have an awesome night. <laughs> I'll, talk to, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.